Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I'm going to do a question about heaven, which is aliens and our perspective. This is going to be a doozy and it's going to go deep for a lot of people with the notes that I've made. Okay, so please watch this one till the end to fully understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so people have asked me over the years, when I went to heaven, did I see aliens? My answer was no. So why didn't I see aliens in heaven? First of all, we've got to remember here that heaven is our consciousness. Heaven is what we create as our perception. Okay. And that's why people who are very religious, when they go to heaven, they see Jesus figures, Buddha or Muhammad, okay? They see the three council that I saw too when I was there. So what happens is, <clears throat> my first line is, when I went to heaven, we're talking 2001, at that time in my life, I was only 36 years old. Prior to that 36 years, in that 36 years of Linda's existence, I had only had very limited information about aliens. Yes, in the 80s, I remember there was a night where we were standing, my ex-husband and I were standing in the backyard, and we were watching these lights in the sky, doing a perfect triangular formation with the three of them, making a triangle. And then they started doing all this in the sky, which is maneuvers that our own air forces don't have the capacity to back in the 80s and then they just went so I remember watching that scene for about 10 minutes I had not seen an alien except for like movies like E.T. that came out you know Drew Barrymore I hadn't experienced or learnt who they were or what they were so in my limited belief system, I knew that they existed, but I didn't concern myself with knowing who or what they were, okay? So when I went to heaven, I saw things relevant to the last 36 years of my life. That's why I saw ladies walking around in medieval dresses, and then instantly they were turned into what I call the 60s with the little mini skirt um, hippie dress with their hair in a black bob, which was very reminiscent of the 60s, right? <clears throat> Why did I see medieval clothing? Because when I was 12, my dad in the Air Force took us to the UK and it was his hobby of a weekend to take us to all the castles. So of course we saw all the old relics. We went into where the dressing rooms were with mannequins with all their cost um well it was their clothes but now we call them costumes so i saw all those dresses when i was a child of, of 12 <clears throat> so when i died i saw what was relevant relevant is a big one here to my conscious awareness so that's why i didn't see any aliens or ufos flying around Okay. In fact, there was no technology there at all, which is a commonality that I now research in near-death experiences. So when we look at the commonalities of what people do experience, because there's so much that people have as a personal experience like my own, <clears throat> I research those commonalities, which is in every NDE when people do go home, like landing in the field of flowers. Okay. I commonly say there's an X on the spot and we come down, coming down and we land in heaven on this, in this field of flowers because that is very common, okay? So I thoroughly believe, because today it's just my opinion, you know, there's no definitive proof. That's why these are all theories, right? The line that I wrote down is our, pers our reality in heaven or perspective of what we see is a conscious illusion of what we create so the happier we are as a person 
the more we heal all our past hurts and the more we accept everything in our lives when we go to heaven we're going to have this far better experience the next one that I've written down is what we are willing to accept accept because prior to um, 2001 when I died I accepted there were aliens but I didn't know too much about them so <clears throat> when I went to heaven I was willing to see through my intentions because this is a big one intentions through my intentions I was willing to accept things that I had accepted in my own existence okay so now that I'm in my 50s and we're in the year 2022 now over the past 21 years since my near-death experience I've now learned a far more information I've researched more about UFOs and aliens I've now got books on all the different species that we have okay so now I've got more of a conscious acceptance of who they are so when I go to heaven I am now accepting to receive the information regarding them so that's why when I went there in 2001 I didn't see any aliens okay all right so it's all about what we accept okay because heaven does not scare us I'm just looking at some more notes that I've written so I get all the information out today heaven will never scare us heaven is all about love we enter into this conscious illusion of our perspective right of things that we love appreciate and respect okay so you know the other thing that I want to touch on here lightly is many people many scriptures etc they talk about the different levels of heaven and the levels of hell because I'm about to touch on hell as well because you know if you believe what people say there's seven levels of heaven or there's seven levels of hell which level of heaven did I go to because I didn't see a, a signpost saying you are here with an x saying oh well if you increase this you'll go to there if you do this life lesson you'll go to that level and become an ascended master it wasn't like that okay so I only saw the one reality of my conscious illusion oh we're going deep aren't we of what my mind created so I just mentioned hell I firmly believe that those who go to hell have that conscious illusion creating that hostile environment traumatic environment or whatever you want to call it how um, you know fire and brimstone type stuff because what they have done is they've created that pain through not healing their past that's why I talk about when people hold on to regrets and grudges or accusations or assumptions right when we hang on to these within our consciousness of our mind and also our subconsciousness that place that our brain goes to when we're asleep we're creating all this pain where we go to this place called hell and we relive it over and over again I call hell the guinea pig wheel you know a guinea pig wheel running around and he doesn't go anywhere he's just reliving and reliving the same spot that he's work, um, running on because when we hang on to grudges and regrets you know I look at the movies because they love giving us these little hints in Lucifer which stars Tom Ellis when he's he's in one episode where a man comes into the boat it's a big sh yacht right big ship and he walks in in his underwear this guy and a man and Lucifer's there the devil and he says to him have you forgiven yourself for what you've done and the man says what are you talking about 
in comes a guy and shoots the guy. Then the guy walks into the room. He's reliving it again. He walks into the room and Lucifer's there. And he says, are you willing now to forgive yourself for what you've done? There's a man about to walk in and kill you. And the guy says, oh, stuff you. I don't believe this. And he's, the guy comes in and kills him. Then he gets again, guinea pig wheel. He walks in again. Lucifer's there and he says, have you forgiven yourself yet for what you've done? The man says, get out of here. You know, what are you talking about? And Lucifer says, this is the 3,468th time you've done this. You're going to keep doing this if you don't heal, heal what you've done. If you don't forgive yourself for what you've done. So I believe that heaven does exist it is a consciousness that we create through that illusion of how healthy our mind is so when we go to heaven we're creating this safety zone this euphoric plethora of love because that ultimately is what we all want yes so this is a very big topic of debate today because it's all just theories no one knows the definitive answer right so I can only talk about what I experienced why was I up there for so long five years you know why was I up there for so long where I'm following you know I talk about the one lady I followed around she would have walked hundreds and hundreds of miles think about how long that would take on earth time to, if you know you walked 200 or 3,000 miles how long would that take to actually accomplish that and then we've got to consider that she was walking so slowly you know it was virtually just like a Sunday stroll so how why was I up there for so long because again that is that illusion of my consciousness that I created so you know, I look back to even when I was floating in the ceil near the ceiling in the living room before I went to that place. What is that about? So I don't really want to get into that today because I want to talk back more about aliens. You know, I see spirit guides and a lot of spirit guides that come through are animals. I had one the other day and he called himself a badger, but he was brown. So I got out my phone to this client that I had and I said, I don't understand, he's calling himself a badger. But badgers have the black and the white markings on their face, but this guy is brown. So I found a honey badger. So why did he come through as an animal? You've got to remember here, humans, we are one species. Look at how many species of animals we have on this planet. There's thousands and thousands not to mention all the ones that are now extinct that have existed in our past like the pterodactyl that i saw one of the first spirit guides that i saw was a pterodactyl in my backyard that's an event so <clears throat> getting back to animals why do we always see animals in heaven because they're trusting they're protective they don't do the humanistic characteristics and behaviors that hurt, maim, deliberately call out someone and belittle them. An animal will never intentionally hurt someone unless they're trying to eat it. Correct? Let's go there. That's correct. So that's why a lot of people, I believe, see animals in heaven. That's why we, we can reincarnate to be animals because they're loving, kind. Animals are always giving. You don't find too many selfish animals unless they've been traumatized by a human. Okay? Because humans, we do have some pretty bad traits, right? you got to agree with that. We can be nasty. Okay? So when we go to heaven, like my seeing spirit guides now, we create this reality that's nothing negative. It's all positive loving. It's love. It's peaceful. Because we've accepted that reality through our conscious illusion. What's your thoughts, guys? Is this deep for you? Please comment below.
<clears throat> what your thoughts are on this, okay? Let me know if you want me to go even deeper, okay? Because some people say, oh, yeah, I've heard all this before. I want to go deeper, find out even more. If you liked it, please press the like button today, okay? But ultimately, aliens, now that I've lived for 2001 till now, 2022, which is 21 years, next time I go to heaven, I may see aliens because I didn't see all of what exists there, okay? I didn't see all of it and I will never say how much of it I saw. What did I see 10%? Did I see 20%? I have no idea. So let's just go there with 0%. I saw 0% of heaven because I don't know how vast that place is. Because like now that I've accepted aliens, I've seen a few when I go out on CE5 nights, I've actually touched an alien. <clears throat> don't do that, by the way. So now that I've got that connectiveness to them oh this is going deep now now that I've got that connection to aliens I'll probably see them next time you know how many species of aliens are out there how many of those have died that have now gone to heaven so that opens up that huge how big is heaven okay so just remember here guys that we all do go to this place okay even ghosts that stay here they ultimately end up in heaven as well and it's what we create when we are there okay and that's why some people do see religious figures that's why some people see their loving grandmothers and that's why their grandmother can still pop in and see us because it's through that connection of emotion <clears throat> what emotion we hold within us is what the energy is that we create into our existence which is then transferred into that unconscious um, illusion of what we create in heaven okay so that's why you know when I connect now with spirit I will, I've always been able to they pop in, they show me that, you know, someone says, hey, can you connect with my mother? They come through and tell me things about themselves. Oh, she's telling me that she, she gave you her ring, right, per se, right? Because they can come through on that emotional connection that we have. So if we have an emotional connection to our past, traumas, hurts, pains, death and grieving, we're going to create that hellish experience. If we hang on to that emotional connection of love, of caring, generosity, understanding, compassion and patience, we'll go to this place that is forever, eternally gorgeous and loving. Okay? So I hope that you've liked today's video. Let me know what you think. It's only a theory. It's only my perspective. We all have our own thoughts. We all have our own free will, correct? <clears throat> Let me know below. Comment below what you think about all this. Okay? And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.